This video is to discuss Aeroving 3 and its similarity and difference of the current Aeroving 2. Aeroving 3 was introduced since the Matthew Show in 2000 and December 2012 and ATA 2013. Aeroving 3, in the real life, this is what Aeroving 3 looked like and this is what Aeroving 2 looked like. They are physically very similar. The aerodynamic characteristic is where the major difference is. They are identical in length, as you can see right here. If you fold the Aeroving 3 out, they are the same height as Aeroving 2. But in the physical characteristic, Aeroving 3, because of this fold, is actually 4 mm shorter than Aeroving 2, which is also about 29% shorter. And because the way we made it, Aeroving 3 is actually 5 grain compared to Aeroving's 7 grain. So it is actually close to 30% lighter. So when you fudge 3 of the Aeroving 3, you're going to get 15 grain compared to 21 grains. And Aeroving 2 and Aeroving 3 also have major in texture difference. I'm going to draw for you. Aeroving 3 have actually three zones. Oh, sorry, Aeroving 2 have three zones. This is the 402 zone, the 201 zone, and the 150. As you can see from this picture, we're actually able to do the four zones in four color, and this is actually the original SOLIDWORKS rendering. This area is 0 0.0402 millimeter in texture. This is 0 0.0201. This is 0 0.0. 0, 0150 and this area is 0 0.0005 now you can see the zone difference between this one and that one is quite significant this area is actually the 402 area the 201 area and the 150 area of course you can see as air flow through this this is a much more efficient approach towards zone texturing and this is the first difference between how the aerodynamics improvement between Aeroving 2 and Aeroving 3. Now we're going to discuss about the air poise surface compensation or what happened when we fold this area. When I overlap, let me find a clean one so you can see better. When I overlap this two vein, you can see that the Aeroving 3 have a this section that sticks out, which I'm going to draw it in black. You can see much better. This, this section in the black is to compensate folding of the Aeroving 2 to form the Aeroving 3. So th mathematically, this two vein have 100% identical lift characteristic. Now with it being so much lighter weight, what are the difference between these two and why do we actually make Aeroving 3 if Aeroving 2 is good enough? Well, let be history. Aeroving 2 because this what you're seeing is actually called the Aeroving 2 Revision 1. The Aeroving 2 original come out is much thinner. It's around 5 grain. Because of legal issue, we have to go back and redo the entire texture of Aeroving 2, which make it significantly thicker, which also reduce one of the most important design factor of Aeroving 2. It's called the Aerodynamic Elasticity Memory. In short form, it is about a vein able to change shape like this. So that as the lift applies and the tail current applies, the vein is going to rotate itself to the least angle attack of attack when it rotates. Now as we increase the thickness of the vein, the aerodynamic elasticity memory of the Aeroving 2, revision 1 actually goes down. Well, what we find out that by making it thicker, it is it become a lot easier for most people to use with Aeroving 2. With Aeroving 2, it is also much easier to use a non-precision fudging jig. I would say you can handle about two degrees of inaccuracy and the Aeroving 2 will still perform. As more and more people have Aeroving jig, we, uh, as we also think of what we can do to bring the Provence back or the original Aeroving 2, we learn, I learned a few things. This is what the new Aeroving 3 look like. Let me get a clean one. As you can see right here, this is significantly softer for the front and back but see with the windlet, the midsection also is stiffer. This is the, how we're able to reduce the weight, maintain the lift characteristic, and increase the aerodynamic elasticity memory. 
but one thing have not changed, which you can see from both. The aspect ratio of the frontal area is 100% identical, and the thickness of both wings have not changed, which means the original ability of arrow wing 2 is going to be the same as arrow wing 3, so that when you go through air, it will be as quiet. Okay, now, let me show you what a wing looks like. Uh, you, you flush it. See that? This is what arrow wing 2 and arrow wing 3 difference. This is arrow wing 2 and this is arrow wing 3. You can see that the entire cross wind signature, which is how much area this wind actually pulled by, go through an air, the air. See this area is what arrow wing 2's cross wind signature is. That thing is defined, the cross wind signature is defined as how much air is being moved when this arrow go through the air. It is not size of the shaft. Yes, as the size of the shaft increase, it will also increase. But this is what we are looking at. With arrow wing 3, you can see this is significantly smaller. But the lift characteristic have not changed, which means that the cross wind signature of arrow wing 3 is much, much smaller than arrow wing 2. Now, since it's on the shaft, you can see how it actually works as it rotates in high speed. This is what the arrow wing 3 is going to look like. You can see how this whole thing is. See how much the midsection is still holds, but how much smaller arrow wing 3 is. Now, compared to arrow wing 2, this is much harder. And as you go on, you see that it is very hard for it to do. Now, a lot of people ask the question, what's the deal with this winglet? Well, first of all, you can see the winglet will, will maintain the structural integrity of the midsection of the vein, even if the material is softer. But one of the most important of the vein is that it actually allows the vein to hold the air much better. But you can see in this, I will show you how. As air passing through on arrow wing 3, or arrow wing 2, the air flows straight out. And the lift process is reduced. As arrow wing 3, when the air tried to lift the vein through full flow off, the winglet actually holds it back. And this is the reason a winglet is so much more efficient compared to a standard wing. This concluded the difference between arrow wing 2 and arrow wing 3. As you can see from here, they are quite different and they are strikingly impressive.